Hi, my name is Heidi Birkenbosch. I'm from GNS Science in New Zealand, and I'm on the RV Falcor on the Hydrothermal Hunt cruise. So the beginning of the story is that there is magma underneath the crust of the Earth. The fluid that is in the crust, so in our case seawater, gets heated by the magma and becomes buoyant. And as it's coming up through the crust, it's dissolving minerals in the rocks. The hotter the water is, generally, the more things it can dissolve. Then it gets to the seafloor and it's suddenly in contact with one or two degree seawater completely different. All those minerals that were dissolved in the hot water come out and that's how a chimney builds. I just love the way they look. I've been studying them for eight years now almost. I've never seen anything like this before as far as the morphology of the chimneys. They have lots of little skinny, we're calling them chimlets, and so why is it like that? It makes you wonder. The water coming through is not getting a big conduit. It's fighting its way through small spaces. The minerals that make up that chimney are not very permeable. They're really stuck into narrow channels and their only choice is to go up. They can't go out. So there's something about the mineralogy there that's making those chimneys very impermeable. And I don't know the answer to that. The hardest part about chimneys is getting them. I feel lucky that I get to have these samples and look at them and learn about them so we can learn about how long has this whole general area been hydrothermally active.